awesome show on tap for y'all. Good morning. Welcome into Undisputed. I'm Jen Hale here with Skip Bayless and Shannon Sharp. Hi, guys. How'd we sleep? Good morning. I slept wonderful. Did little you? light rain, little light rain came Good. Late night. Good. Then give me Dallas plus five and a half at Philly on no. Sunday night. No, five you and run. a half right now. Cooper five and that. a half. Cooper Rush is better than Dak Prescott. I'm stuck with Cooper Rush, no, 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 your quarterback. No, 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 no. I got no chance. No, no, that's not what you think. He's a J-A-G, no. just another no. guy. He's an undrafted fraud. What about that? He's going to turn back into a pumpkin. I'm stuck dating, with him. Dating back says Jerry, he went to contractual war with yep. Jerry Jones. Yep. In the last 36 games, he's 18 and 18. Yeah, you, you're listening. Yeah, exactly. I, you're learning. No, you don't get no. Cooper Rush is mm. better. Cooper Rush really? is the second cover to Troy Aikman and uh, Roger Staubach. Oh, really? That's what you told so me. So you're picking the Cowboys? No, I absolutely no, I am not. So. I got you again. <laughs> I absolutely am not All picking right, the here Cowboys. Here we go. <laughs> Let's get the dew flowing and the yeah, show he's scared, rolling. He's scared, you guys oh, are I'm ready to petrified. go. <laughs> All right, let's jump in. Dak Prescott, guess what, guys? He can now grip the football, and he begins true throwing practice today. The quarterback has not played or practiced since injuring that thumb in week one. Cooper Rush, 4-0, and oh, perfect. Since stepping in for Dak as the starting QB, the Cowboys head to Philly, as you guys mentioned, to take on those undefeated Eagles Sunday night. Shannon, if Dak proves to the coaching staff this week that he is indeed 100% able to throw the football, should he be the Cowboys' starter Sunday night? Yeah, but here's the thing. Should he and or will he? I believe he should. I believe if Dak Prescott is healthy enough to grip the football, to spin the football, go through his normal routine and play like he normally would play, I do believe uh, Dak Prescott should be the starting quarterback. Whether or not Dr. Jerry Jones... <laughs> Has seen enough because, you know, Jerry is the ultimate, is the only doctor that matters. I understand he can go to all these thumb specialists and, hey, he can grip the ball and it's normal. And uh, our Tom Ronaldo, you said that he shook his hand. He's like, oh. How you, you like, like that grip? You like pressure. that grip? Yep. I get all that. Mm-hmm. But only one man needs to matter, and he's the guy that talks every single day mm-hmm. on his radio show or his television show, Skip. Look, I believe that the Eagles can score more than 17 points. And it seems to me the Cowboys are banking on, like, our defense will keep you to 17 or fewer, and all we need to get to uh, get to is, like, 18, 19 points, and we can win this game. But when you look at the Eagles, they have a very good defense also, and they have a very good scoring offense. So with that being, the, the Eagles have the fifth scoring offense, the league's uh, seventh scoring defense. The Eagles' defense is fourth in sacks, first in takeaways. So that is a great combination that the Cowboys have yet to face this season. True. First game of the season, <clears throat> Tampa Bay. But everybody's trying to find into a, get into a routine. So we kind of have an idea, a general indication of who these teams are now six weeks into the season. Mm-hmm. So I believe this will be the most complete team as far from an offensive standpoint and a defensive standpoint, a team that can get after your quarterback, that can take the ball away, an offense that can run the football, but they're very good, very talented in the passing game with A.J. Brown, Devontae Smith, and uh, uh, Dallas Goddard. Offensive line might be the best offensive line that the Cowboys has faced this season. So for me, Skip, look, four touchdown passes in four games. He's averaging 194 yards passing. He threw a hunt for 102 yards, no touchdowns, and completed 10 passes, and they won going away. They won by two scores. Mm. Do you understand how difficult it is to do in the National mm-hmm. Football League? You've covered this game long enough. You know with this little uh, uh, offensive output, your defense has to be outstanding mm. in order for you to keep this up. How many times did he throw on Sunday? I think 16. 16 times. Yeah, 16. So, so is that his fault or the game's fault? No, 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 no. Or does no. he care? He that's, all care. He, that's all he can do. Huh? I mean, that's, it's, it's, he's averaging 194 yards. Really? So it's not like he all of a sudden threw 400 because after coming off a 400-yard performance. Mm. That's not the case. He's barely over 200 yards to begin with. You see him last year at Minneapolis when he had to throw on I, Sunday you night. You love living in the pain. 325. Maybe, maybe you need to get down the hot tub time machine and go back to Baker Mayfield. Yep. We're going to talk about him a little later. Mm. Look, I believe if Dak is healthy – and he can go about his normal routine, he should start. Now, whether or not he will, that's something Jerry Jones can answer for you. I can't mm. answer that right now. By the way, speaking of Jerry Jones, <laughs> just a quick quote from him from yesterday yeah. that actually reinforces your point about Dak starting. This is Jerry Jones yesterday. Mm-hmm. I believe it was on his radio show. Do we need that extra spurt to make the game-winning play at quarterback? Yes, we do. Thank goodness we are in a situation where we have not had to have that dimension. When we get him back, as in Dak, Dak. 
That'll be a real additive, said Jerry Jones. We'll be a mess, meaning a handful, uh, uh, like, like, a, really good. like a good <laughs> mess, right? We'll be a mess for other teams to deal with if we can keep playing defense like this. Yes. Well, this sounds like he's been watching Shannon Sharp, and, and I'm sure he does. <laughs> yeah. he, he may hang on your every word. He may be saying, the Hall of Famer just convinced me we got to go back to that. Well, he realized the Hall of Famer is objective, and the guy, his counterpart, uh, really? is not. Huh. And yet, his counterpart is the one who keeps reminding you that over Dak's last 12 starts, he's 6-6. Six and six. Well, let me ask you a question. You think Jerry got that uh, information also? I, well, I mean, I, I hope <laughs> Jerry doesn't have such memory loss at this stage Jerry in age. Jerry got no memory loss. No? no he doesn't have any? No, Jerry's well, flat. do you remember what happened last year when your Denver Broncos visited? It was just last year. It was yeah. 30 to nothing. Yeah, Denver either. going to the fourth quarter. Yeah. 30 to nothing. Yeah. Do you remember what, what happened the week later at Kansas City? Dak Prescott's offense had the ball 12 times and managed three field goals and lost 19 to nine. I, I would say I think your defense is, is exponentially better this year than what you Okay, all right, but they held my homeboy at home. He was having a bad year, but they held him to 19 and lost 19 to nine. Do you remember Dak Prescott having a QBR of 32 in a playoff game yeah. just last January at yeah. home against San Francisco while Jimmy G had a QBR of 76 to 32 for right. Dak? Dak pretty much stunk it up. Dak didn't show up in that game well, until late in the game when it was too late, as he always does. Well, it wasn't like your defense was playing like they're playing right now. Remember how uh, 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 Jimmy G had all time to throw the, all day to throw the ball, and Debo had took the one run and went to the house. That was basically the difference in the ball game. You guys just couldn't generate anything offensively. Mm. So this Jerry quote amuses me. Everything you just said amuses me because all I know for sure – is that we're talking about a quarterback who has been the quarterback in a game that is all but rigged for the quarterback to own the game, right. the National Football League. Right. That, that's how it works. You can't win without quarterback play. This quarterback has won all five of his starts. His first four starts, he set an all-time NFL record. All-time. No one's ever done it in the history of this league. And no quarterback in his first four starts has ever had a passing rating, passer rating, right. of 90-plus in all four of his first starts. Cooper Rush did. Cooper Rush is now fifth in QBR despite a low QBR at Rams when he really wasn't needed, but he doesn't have any ego whatsoever, so he doesn't have 12 national TV commercials to live up to. He doesn't have $100 million guaranteed on his contract to live up to. He doesn't have face of the franchise to live up to. He just does what is asked. He does what is necessary game after game after game. Well, see, that's the difference because he gets to, he gets to, do, he gets to live in what is asked. Dak has to go above and beyond because, why? Right, all the reasons that you mentioned, $100 million, face of the franchise. So doing what is asked of the quarterback just went. Dak can't win like that. Dak has to go above and beyond. He has to, uh, he has to show you why Jerry gave him $40 million. Okay. So once again, I, I make the case that on Sunday night, I, I would actually feel sorry for Dak Prescott if he got thrown back into the fire after five weeks at Philadelphia. It's insane. It's wrong. It's cruel. It's mean. It's completely unfair. You, you can't do that to this man, can even you, though he is chomping to get back in there because he is threatened by Cooper can I, Rush. Can I ask you a question? What other quarterback, if they were healthy, let's just take the top five, top ten quarterbacks. Let's just do salary. Don't forget, don't, let's not do top salaries. What quarterback you think wouldn't get thrown in and say, well, well, that's too tough an opponent. We're going to wait till the following week when they play Detroit. Every quarterback you know would get thrown back in that situation. From Tom Brady to Patrick Mahomes to Aaron Rodgers to everybody in between. So why not that? You're paying him $40 million. Who has ever had a situation in which the backup quarterback is 5-0 and zero as a starting quarterback? But everybody it's knows never the, happened but before. Everybody knows the no, back, it's never happened. Everybody knows the backup isn't better uh, than the starter, though, well, except Skip. Okay, I'm going to remind you one more time we have some history here to look back on you can say it's ancient history but I'm going to bring it up one more time 1991 I was right in the middle yeah. of it. I was covering the team right and all of a sudden 
Troy Aikman sprained his knee at Washington. Steve Berline took over and got that victory home. And then he managed to rip off five straight wins to close the year, including winning a game at Philadelphia against Buddy Ryan and Reggie White and company. And it was something. Trust me. The Cowboys were finally back. It had been 10 years since Dallas loved its Cowboys because it had been 10 years since the the Dwight Clark game and the catch and Danny Mm -hmm. White, the master of disasters, I used to call him. And all of a sudden, they were back because of the backup quarterback, Steve Berline, and they were on the way to play Mike Ditka's Bears up in Chicago in a playoff game, and Jerry and Jimmy, obviously, co-partners overseeing the Dallas Cowboys, Troy told him, I'm 100% right. I'm ready to go. I'm, I'm back in the saddle. All he was was the first overall pick in the draft, and he was clearly the face of the franchise, and they said, sorry, Troy, we're going with the hot hand at at Ditka, and they went and beat Ditka's Bears. Then they went to Detroit, and they got blown so in out. Other words, so if I'm hearing you correctly, no matter if – so Cooper Rush should start, and under no circumstance until he loses several games should Dak Prescott get his job back. Okay, here's all I know. I just believe with all my heart and soul in complete objectivity, even though I'm a lifelong diehard Cowboy fan – My eye test, my instincts, my gut tells me that Cooper Rush would give my team a little better chance to win Sunday night at Philadelphia, Sunday night at Philadelphia, than Dak could after five weeks off pressing, gripping, trying to live up to. 